So a really important ideology that a lot of people never think about or address is the idea that our successes should hold as much weight, if not more, than our failures. So an example of people not giving credence to their successes is a very classic, you know, the person that leaves assessments to the last minute, they always do well, but they always freak out, they always stress, always panic. They aren't allowing their successes, their good grades, the constant, you know, reassurance or should be reassurance that they're going to do well they're not allowing that to actually penetrate into their mind and into their subconscious to inform who they are as a person right so when we fail there's not even a second where we don't allow that to inform who we are if we fail it's instantly in there and that's it when it comes to our successes for some reason we find it a lot harder to allow it to penetrate into our subconscious and inform the person that we are so Going along with that same example, if you're a person that does really well at school, but yet you still get anxious and you still stress at uni, you need to learn to allow those victories to teach yourself about who you are. So that's my main, that's one of my big examples is that I've always been relatively you know, good at school and good at uni, got good grades in the, in the subjects I tried for anyway. And you know, I, I did, I was doing a Bachelor of Accounting for a little bit and I didn't like, and I got some iffy grades and I, I dropped out of that and switched into a, a sport and exercise science. And I, I told myself that I will do well no matter what, because I don't want to get to the end of this degree and want to switch and not have the grades to be able to switch. So I promised myself I would do well. And first year I did really, really well. However, going into second year, first semester, I made some new friends and we were all doing assignments together. And I think it just started to hit me that like, why am I so worried? Why am I so stressed? Like, I am smart, I do well. It, it doesn't add up. So I thought about it, I was thinking about it, and I realized that anytime I fail, anytime I come short, I'll, I allow that to, like I said, penetrate into my subconscious and inform, who, inform me on who I think I am. And it changes, that changes my self esteem and my belief in myself, etc. But when I win, I wasn't allowing it to do that. So what I did personally was every time I had a thought about, you know, an assignment or whatever it was, if it was a negative thought, I would instantly think, okay, well, where's the evidence? What does the evidence say? And in this regard, the all the evidence pointed towards, well, I always do well. There's absolutely no reason that I wouldn't do well. Yeah, I'm leaving it last minute, but I tend to leave it last minute. So once again, there's no reason that I wouldn't do well. So just a quick tip for you. If you find yourself doubting yourself, you need to look in your life for the evidence and allow that evidence, allow those victories, allow that success to inform who you are and who you believe you are. And if you don't, if you say or you think you don't have any any evidence, any victories, any, any success, either you need to take a serious look into yourself and, and understand and figure out if you are being extremely harsh on yourself. And a way you could do that is by talking to people in your life and wondering what they think. Do they think that you're good or something? Do they think you have victories, etc.? Or just go out there and create some victories. Work really hard on the next assessment. So yeah, like I was saying, create victories. So whether that's work, working really hard now on assessments and doing well and allowing that to inform you or getting to the gym, just do something, create victories and allow them to inform you. Search, scour your life, constantly be on the lookout for when you do well and make sure you realize it. Tell yourself, wow, I did really well, I'm proud of myself. You have to do that, otherwise, your failures will be the only things can, that will inform your life as you go on and your self-esteem and your belief in yourself and your confidence will never develop to where they should be. And that's not okay.